Hello everyone, Ben Williams here from Molten Cup Habitat Restoration and Enhancement, Future Forest Properties, and your president of your Northern Finger Lakes QDMA chapter. Now, I want to kick off another, I guess we'll call it another batch of this. I started doing a Whitetails land management A to Z for Whitetails in between. So it was land management A to Z for Whitetails in between. I did that with Tyler Breen over on a deer tube page, which was separate on the YouTube channel. But since then, Tyler's been moving on to bigger, better projects. So happy for him and everything he's got going on. So I wanted to relaunch it on my old Tin Cup channel. So what we're doing, guys, is land management A to Z for Whitetails in between. So here we are starting off with the letter A. We're going to go right down through the alphabet and talk about specific things pertaining to wildlife and habitat management, specifically kind of focusing on deer, but we're going to help a lot of other species along the way. So what we have right here in our letter A of this example is attraction. So it's a great big, big term, but we're going to relate this into a topic that is relatable right now to this time of the year. We've had a lot of questions about shed hunting, food plots, tons of questions coming in, property visits lining up from Pennsylvania all throughout New York as well. Starting to really book up and get busy. Also working on listing a couple properties and getting that. Transactions taken care of, my parents closing on their new house. I'm purchasing a house, so it's a lot of big stuff coming. So we're filming up the attraction today. As you can see behind me, it is a big blank slate one or two solo tracks of deer going across this field i walk literally end to end and it is nothing 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 we've had no access or attraction to this food plot and this is a clover blend this had some grass taken up and specifically this section this year so not that desirable anyway because of the grasses that were springing up in it but this plot's getting ready to get flipped over redone we're going to leave this nice clover section in the middle. We're going to put a bunch of uh, screening blends in with this, a couple different experiments. I got some cave and rock switchgrass that I'm going to try out this year. But going back to the attraction point, guys, this is not attracting deer this time of year. This was not attracting deer. Typically, once the frost rolls in and knocks the clover out, this is chewed right down to the ground. So, also, access wise, kind of shoots myself in the foot because there's no good screening around this plot as well. So, got to balance your attraction with your access, planting stuff, definitely leaning away from the perennial um, blends of clover and alfalfa and stuff like that. Not focusing on that, not that it's not important, but there's tons of ag in my area. It's not a limiting factor. My limiting factor is high quality native vegetation, which I do have an ample supply of. So. You can see one or two solo tracks of attraction out here. Now, that's going to go 180. Look at the habitat in here, guys. Look at this. We got goldenrod springing up. We got all these great forbs, browse. Obviously, they're in here getting on some of this apple browse. Look at all these ash, box elder. There's a bitternut hickory right here, too. It's a little wet here. There's some dogwood back up in there. I can see honeysuckle, good cover, good food. I mean, obviously. <laughs> look at, look at, look at the freaking, look at, this is screaming quality cover. I wouldn't be surprised if I bounced a bunny out of one of these brush piles too of uh, old apple tree honeysuckle mix. So use your attraction to your advantage. Maximize the attraction on your property for whitetails or whatever species it might be. Clover might look great, great in a magazine, great for getting that. Summertime photos, great for everything like that, but to my knowledge, we've only had one mature buck on this food plot in daylight, and we run two or three cameras on this plot at all times, and we had one buck during daylight, during shooting season, or shooting hours during season, just out of range. Um, we had the right conditions for it, and he was coming in close, but it wasn't going to happen, so... Screening, making this more attractive for them from a security standpoint. Flanking it with good, high-quality, attractive cover is going to help you be more successful. So that's our letter A, guys, is attraction. So look for high-quality native vegetation. Increase and hold more wildlife, more deer 
more grouse. There's grouse drumming on this property, more turkeys, more everything, rabbits. I mean, you name it by attracting with this. Food plot may look good, and I'm not saying I don't do them, but balance your attraction to your goals. So that's it, guys. There's a lot of A attraction. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video so much. We are looking for more topics, but I'm going to try to shoot these one or two a week. Um, we're going to try to get through the alphabet here for going to land management, A to Z for whitetails in between with Old Tin Cup Habitat Restoration Enhancement. I'm Ben Williams, owner of Old Tin Cup, also real estate agent for Future Forest Properties and your Northern Finger Lakes QDMA branch president. So we have our banquet coming up April 18th, guys. If anybody in the area is interested in getting into that, we got great ticket selections. We've already sold over a tenth of our tickets. Um, we just announced last week um, that we're gonna be having that banquet. It is gonna sell out again. We are gonna have it in Newark at the Newark Country Club. That's April 18th. Get a hold of us. That's not your turkey weekend. And tune back in and let us know what you guys want to see on future episodes of Land Management A to Z for Whitetails in Between. I'm Ben Williams. Thanks everyone for taking the time to check out this video. Um, I hope to see you back on the channel and I hope to have you contribute to the conversation. And I'll see you all next time here in the field. Take care.